But Prahlad Maharaj is recommending that either material prosperity within this planet or in other planet, they are all distractible. They are not permanent. Therefore, nirmal, not uh, free from the contamination of material nature. That is also recommended in the Bhagavad Gita. That even if you go to the highest planet, that is also perishable. So we are not interested in perishable thing. Unfortunately, people have no knowledge that what is that unperishable. They are accustomed in the association of perishable things uh, for many, many lives. Therefore, they have no information what is the if we say that you you work for non perishable things he will be astonished because he has no idea that there can be anything which is not perishable so Prahlad maharaj recommends don't try for perishable things try for non perishable things and that is bhakto peshan bhajato atmalabhe as the devote is recommend to worship the Supreme Lord, and the Supreme Lord also confirms it. Jadgatyana nivartanti taddhama paramam. That supreme abode where going nobody returns. Prahlad Maharaj recommend that, my dear friends, you just worship that supreme personality of God, where going nobody comes back. Jadatha iha karamani vidyan Nyanya Sakinara Karati Ata Vipajyasam Amokam Bindati Palam. In this material world, we are making so many plans for permanent settlement. But unfortunately, we are meeting with just the opposite reason. That is in our experience. There is very nice song sung by Vaishnav poet. He says, Sukhera Lariya Ekhara Bhajino. I constructed this house for living happily. Unfortunately, it was set in fire, so everything is finished. That is going on. In the material world, we are making so many plans for living very comfortably, peacefully, eternally, but that is not possible. People do not understand. They are seeing, experiencing from Shastra, from Scripture, we are getting instruction that nothing is imperishable. Everything is perishable in the material world. And we are actually seeing also the perishable agents are always ready, just like the fire. In New York City, at least within 24 hours, there are at least 10 or 15 places where fire is going and your fire brigade is running off just trying to protect you from fire. The house regulation is all for fire. How we are protected from fire, then it will be allowed certificate of occupation. You can leave. In other words, the fire is always ready to vanish everything, but artificially, somehow or other, we are trying to protect ourselves from fire. But we do not take it for granted that this material nature is so made that it will set in fire everything, however we may be strong in protecting ourselves. That is the nature. So however we may make plans to live very happily, the nature's law is that it will destroy. So this material nature is very powerful. You cannot protect from the onslaught of material nature. Therefore, Prahlad Maharaj advising us that you try to achieve the permanent. The permanent is the soul. God is permanent. And there is a world, a sky, which is also permanent. So why not transfer yourself to that permanent sky, permanent association, permanent life, permanent supreme knowledge, what we are seeking here in imperfectness. 
But people have no information. Some of them, they do not believe in it. Some of them are callous. This is our unfortunate condition. But it is neither false nor it is fiction. It is actual fact, truth, real truth, absolute truth. Param Sattam Dhimahi, Srimad Bhagavat presents the objective at the Supreme Truth. Param Sattam Dhimahi. I offer my obeisances to the Absolute Truth, Param Satyam. And what is that Param Satyam? Nirastha Kuhakam. Nirastha Kuhakam means which is devoid of all illusion. Here everything is full of illusion. I am thinking, planning something, and at any moment oh, it is all vanished, all finished. There we do not understand that this is illusion. And there is a permanent life. So, Sukhaya Dukkha Mokhaya Sankalpa Yakarmina Sada Apnati Yuhaya Dukkham Aniyuhaya Sukha Vritaha. Now, everything we are planning, Sukhaya, for matter of happiness, and Dukkha Mokhaya, and to get rid of all miseries. This is our plan. Sukhaya Dukkha Mokhaya Sankalpa. Our determination, yeha, in this world, karmina, those who are working, the determination is to make life happy and avoid distress. That is the plan. Sada apnati yihaya. But that is simply plan making within our mind. Actually, it is never achieved. It is never achieved. Kaman kamati kamai jadatha miha purusha. Now, we are designed so many things. Kaman, Kama, Kamayate. Kama means desirable. And Kamayate, we anchor after such desirable. Kamai, being too much eager, greedy, fulfilling those objects. Jadartham iha purusha. Savai dehasta. And what is that? Kama. What are those desirable? The desirables are simply for making this body perfect. Not perfect, comfortable. Perfect it cannot. But as far as possible, we are manufacturing nice cushions for sitting comfortably, nice bedroom by nice motor cars, and everything for this body. The ultimate aim is to make this body comfortable. That's all. But Prahlad Maharaj says that the body itself, deha sabai deha suparakya bhangura, either you make your position secure and comfortable in this life or next life. Next life means there are many religious rituals which assures in your next life, very comfortable life, very, I am to say, long duration of life in other planets. So either you make arrangement in this life or in the next life, in the material world. If you make your next life in the spiritual world, then that is a different question. But so far we are materially concerned. Either we make comfortable life in this life or in the next. But the body itself is khanabhangura. It is perishable. Sabai deha stuparakki bhangura jatiya King Bhavahita Apatya Dharagara Dhanadaya Rajya Kusha Gajamatya Bhityatha Mamatas Padaha. They are all sons of big chieftains and ministers, and he was himself the son of the king, Hiranna Koshibo. Therefore, he was speaking from his own standard. He says that Kim Bhavahita Apatya Dharagara Dhanadaya. Apatta means we are expanding, we are single, now we are expanding, expanding by our children, apatya. And dara means wife. The Sanskrit word stri, stri means woman. And the root meaning of stri means which expands. As soon as you have got wife, you expand yourself. You are one, and as soon as you get your wife, you become three, four, five. So, uh, stri means that helps me expand me. That is the root meaning. So, Pallad Maharaj said 
that what is the use by expanding your attachment to this material world by children apatya dara 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 means wife and agara means house dara agara dhanadaya dhanadaya means riches these are our expanding processes and rajya kingdom rajya kosha kosha means treasury these are concerned with government government wants to expand rajya kosha and gaja gaja means elephant the royal orders and uh, they keep elephants especially in india those who are princely order they must keep at least dozens of elephants and many thousands of horses that is a uh, royal opulence rajya kosha rajya kosha gajamatya amatya means minister and vritya vritya means servants and apta means friend that means in other words prahlad maharaj says that there is no necessity of expanding these material opulences